The families of Camp Pendleton Marines killed in an Osprey crash in 2022 filed a wrongful death lawsuit today in San Diego Federal Court. Good evening, I'm Marcella Lee. I'm Carlo Cicchetto. The lawsuit targets the manufacturers of the Osprey, not the Marine Corps. CBS 8's David Garfson talked to the wife of one of the five U.S. Marines killed in that crash near Glamis. We are living with this fear hanging over us that this could happen to another family. Amber Sachs's husband, John, was one of five Camp Pendleton Marines killed two years ago when their Osprey helicopter crashed in the desert near Glamis during routine training. This was a ordinary, normal Wednesday. I kissed him in the morning and said goodbye as I normally do. I had packed him snacks the night before. It was just an ordinary day. I wasn't worried. Killed in the crash, Amber's husband, Captain John Sachs, Captain Nicholas Losapio, Corporal Nathan Carlson, Corporal Seth Rasmussen, and Lance Corporal Evan Strickland. And that night, I had already put uh, our oldest daughter to bed. I was pregnant with our second, and I heard a knock on our front door, and I opened it, and there were four Marines and one Navy chaplain standing there, and that's when I knew that they were coming to tell me. Now, the families of four of those Marines have filed a wrongful death lawsuit in San Diego federal court, alleging deceptive practices and systemic failures by the manufacturers of the Osprey, Bell Textron, Boeing, and Rolls-Royce. We're alleging that uh, what caused the crash of Swift 11 was a mechanical failure. Los Angeles attorney Tim Loringer represents the families. A military investigation found the cause of the crash was clutch failure, but the root cause of the clutch problem remains unknown. We've had two crashes uh, since Swift 11, Japan and also Australia. To the extent that those might have a common thread, we don't know yet, um, but it, that it, that is too many. The manufacturers told CBS 8 they cannot comment on pending litigation. Plaintiffs are seeking unspecified monetary damages, but Amber says she's not interested in seeing the Osprey grounded. We love the Osprey. We're an Osprey family. John loved to fly the Osprey. And I want to be able to take my kids to air show someday and still see them flying and say, that's what your father flew. However, I want them to be safe. The Marines now require that Osprey clutch assemblies be replaced after 800 flight hours. The Osprey that crashed near Glamis reportedly had more than 2,000 flight hours on the clutch assemblies. At the federal courthouse, David Goffordson, CBS 8.